complete way. Islam solves all of our problems. Allah leaves no stone unturned. Perfect with no flaws at all by the laws of Allah. Away. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa mawala wa ba'd. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome back. We are back. And we were talking about introducing the letters of or the articulation, the proper articulation of the letters so that we can properly recite our Quran. So there are 17 different exits of the recitation of the Quran or the or 17 different exits of articulation of the Quran. And it is according to the scholars the first of them is the jawf and this is the jawf this windpipe right here all of this is the jawf. What comes out of the jawf is the alif the waw and the ya so the we all of that the extensions that end with the air so for example I would say notice how I ended it with air ends with the air once again so the alif the waw and the ya end with the air when they are extensions and they come from the windpipe the next then from the lowest part of the throat is both the Hamza and the Ha so the Hamza ah, ah, there's a little little nudge right there if you press it ah, 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 and ha, ha, ha. you should literally feel it vibrating ah, 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 ah. And we don't want to mistake the alif, the, the hamza, with the ayn. The ayn is not the hamza. Because the ah, ah, we're going to get to that, inshallah, comes a little bit higher. What well, we want to look right now, we want to look at the lowest part. This little part right here, we press it, and that's where we should feel our vibrations. That's where we should feel the movement. Ah, 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 ha, ah, ha. Ah. As a matter of fact, if you block it and press really hard, Ah, the boy, the sound changes. Ah, ah, it turns into a ayin because you have to literally bring the noise from a different part of your throat. So you have ah, ah, ha, ha, ah, ah, ha, ha. Adnahu ghaynun khawha wal qafu. The um, so the 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 from the side of it. From the second part is the ayn and the ha. From the second part of it is the ayn and the ha. The ayn and the ha is a little bit higher. Ah, ha, ah. So the first part is here. Ah, ha. Ah, ha. Ah, ha. Ah, ha. And see, I'm, if I push down harder, the sound changes because it doesn't allow me to properly recite it. Ah, ha, ah, ah, ha, ah, ha. See that? Ah, ha, ah, ah, ha, ha. Asfalu wal wastu faji mushinu ya. Wadadu min hafatihi idwaniya. So, Adnahu ghaynun khawuha wal qafu Aqsa al-lisani fawqu thumma al-kafu Adnahu, the top part, so we had Ah, 
ها ع ح غ ق غ خ ق غ خ ق ع ح ا Then, أقصن لسان فوق ثم الكاف. The deepest part of your tongue, and right above it is the calf. Ka, ka, like cat, cat, bat, cat, bat, cat, bat. أقصن لسان فوق ثم الكاف. أسفل والوسط فجيم الشين يا أسفل والوسط فجيم الشين يا أسفل والوسط فجيم الشين يا أسفل أسفل والوسط فجيم الشين يا أسفل والوسط فجيم الشين يا the bottom and the bottom and the the asfalu wal wasth fajim al shinu ya. So the lower meaning closer to the mouth and the middle of the tongue. So the lower part of the mouth, closer to the mouth, and the middle of the tongue. Ha. Jim. Jim. Ha. All the way to the back. Jim. And that should be pressing at the top there. Right? Up there. Jim. Sheen, yeah. Jim, sheen, yeah. Jim, sheen, yeah. Je, ah. All right. All way back. Je, she, yeah. Well, what dad min hafatihi is what yet? A dad, it comes from the hafat alisan. So. The 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 side here of the tongue, and the side of the tongue, huh, gets pressed against your wisdom teeth. Well, bado, ah, ah, well, bado, and you can put it on the right or the left. Ah, ah, bado, min hafatihi izwaliya. والضاد من حافته إذ ولي الأبراس من أيسار أو يمناها واللام أدناها لمنتهاها The ضاد either the right or the left الضاد 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 You can take it to the side of your tongue and press it really hard against your teeth and you hold it until the sound comes out واللام أدناها لمنتهاها اللام اللام the lam you take the tip of your tongue and press it against the 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 top of your mouth اللام 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 والنون من طرفه تحت جعل والراي دانه لظهر أدخال and the noon from its tip of the tongue it is found under the lamb so the lamb uh, in the back mm, the noon so if I'm to look at uh, uh, mm, uh, mm, lamb noon lamb noon now inshallah ta'ala we're going to take our first caller for today Hello, Brother Castro. You're on Reside on TV. What's your name? Assalamu alaikum. You're on Reside on TV. What's your name? Assalamu alaikum. Okay, we lost the caller.
So the lamb, lamb noon, lamb noon, and the ra is right above the noon, ra, ra, and we take the ra and put it close to the noon. It uses the top of the tongue, the tip of the tongue, with the tip of the mouth, ar, ar, ah, ar, Assalamu alaikum wa you said on TV, what's your name? Assalamu alaikum you said on TV, what's your name? Okay, it looks like we lost him, mashallah ta'ala. منه ومن فوق الثنايا السفلى والضاء والذاء والضاء والذاء والثاء للعليا. So the ضاء, the the ذال and the ثاء, we use the upper front incisors, meaning the tongue, the the top of the tongue, and press it against our teeth. ضاء ثاء that pressing it against the top of our teeth. Va that that va that that va that and that. Min tara fayma wa min batn al shafa, fal fam atara fi al thanaa al mushrifa. So. From the edges of them both, the top and the bottom. Va, eh? Va, the, fa. And the fa, use, we use the edges of the incisors. Fa, fa, fa. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Rasail on TV. What's your name? My name is Hassan. Assalamu alaikum, Hassan. How are you? Good. What did you learn today from the letter, from the exits of how, the, the, the proper way of reciting? I don't know. <laughs> MashaAllah, but you want to recite for us today. Right? Faib, inshallah ta'ala, looks like we lost him. Uh, if you have a chance, Hassan, please do call back. Barakallah feek. So what we're going to do, inshallah ta'ala, right now, is we're going to go on a quick break, and we'll be right back, inshallah ta'ala, within the next few minutes, and we will be taking calls immediately right after this sm small and short, inshallah ta'ala, bre uh, break. Jazakumullah khair. And please remember, bithinillah ta'ala, get guided with... Guide us TV. A complete way. It's a complete way. It's a complete way.
Do you know what Islam is? It's a way of life for all. It is taught in the Quran for big and small. A way of life, a way of life, a way of life, a way of life. Islam is a way of life, a concrete way. Do you know what Islam says? It says that life's the greatest test. It says that life's a borrowed faith. Depend upon enjoy that um, the nasheed that says Islam is the way of life Barakallah uh, Fikum so now inshallah ta'ala we're going to have the phones open for taking phone calls for those of you who would like to recite that is 800-651-4814 1-800-651-4814 inshallah ta'ala and we will be taking your calls please do call inshallah ta'ala to recite on TV The letters so far we worked on the alif the ha the ayn the ha the ghain the kha and the qaf the jeem the sheen the ya the lam the noon the ra the baad the baad on each e either side so now we're going to work on the ta the ta and the dal ta and that so what thought what dalu mean what tamin who I mean all yes then I was something almost taken the ta the dal and the top they come from the tip of the tongue from the top side tip uh, top side tip top side uh, uh. and from the upper incisors and the whistle Meaning the letters that have inherent characters of the whistle, which are also sawed, zay, and seen, which we're going to talk about in a second, inshallah. So the ta, the ta, and the dal. Ta, ta, dal. They, you press up against your teeth, and you use the top ending part of your tongue. Ta, ta, dal. Ta, ta, dal. Ta, ta, dal. All coming from the tip of your tongue. Tip. Top, tip, top, ta, ta, dal. Pressing up against your teeth. Ta, 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 dal. Ta, ta, dal. And also, uliyat thanaya wa safiru mustakin. Meaning, um, the the letters that whistle also have a similar exit, the same exact exit, just not as hard. So the first one's ta. Ta, ta, sod. Ta, sod. Zay. Ta, sod, zay. Ta, sod. Same thing. Tip, top. Tongue. Huh? Huh. Tip, top of the tongue. Ta. Tip, top of the tongue. 
Dead. Tip top of the tongue. Tap. Tip top of the tongue. Sod. Tip top of the tongue. Zay. Tip top of the tongue. Seed. So the difference is one you're blowing and you're putting less pressure. The other you're just putting pressure and you're not necessarily blowing. لِشَفَتَيْنِ الْوَاهُ يَا أُمِّيمُ وَغُنَّةُ مَخْرَجُهَا الْخَيْشُومُ لِشَفَتَيْنِ الْوَاهُ يَا أُمِّيمُ وَغُنَّةُ مَخْرَجُهَا الْخَيْشُومُ Your lips Your lips have wow Ya and meem The lips. Yeah. Wow. Meme. Bat. Wow. Meme. Bat. Wow. Meme. Bat. These are the lips. Wow. Meme. Bat. Wow. Meme. Bat. Wow. Meme. Bat. These are the lip letters. And as for the runna, uh, comes from the two little holes inside of your teeth. So if you close your mouth, it, you can say the runna. Mm, and you should feel your nose vibrating. And you should feel your nose vibrating. But when you open your mouth you shouldn't be able to it should you should feel this really really weird type of tickle when you have the hunna uh, because it's coming from your nose so instead of us normally if you if you recite the hunna you plug your nose and the sounds should change the sound should change so this is the hunna so you can actually practice this and if anybody laughs at you and says, why are you doing that? Say, I saw it on recite on TV, so now I'm practicing the runna. Uh, right? So, the, and that concludes our makharij al-huruf. So just to recap, inshallah ta'ala, makharij al-huruf ashar. There are 17 different exits for the articulation, proper articulation of the letter. So now, inshallah ta'ala, we're going to take calls just as promised. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. You're on Rasaid on TV. What's your name? Assalamu alaikum. You're on Rasaid on TV. What's your name? Okay, looks like we lost the call. Please call later, inshallah ta'ala. Don't give up. So, مخارج الحروف سبعة عشر There are 17 exits for the proper articulation of the letters. على الذي يختاره من اختبر And this is based on the research of the scholars. فَمَدُّ الْأَلِفِ وَأُخْتَهَا وَهِي حُرُوفُ مَدٍ لِلْهَوَاءِ تَنْتَهِي لِلْجَوْفِ أَلِفُ وَأُخْتَهَا وَهِي حُرُوفُ مَدٍ لِلْهَوَاءِ تَنْتَهِي The empty space in the throat, the windpipe, and the mouth has the alif. Wow, yeah, when there are extension letters. We'll take our next caller. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You're on the air. Uh... What's your name? Assalamu alaikum, you're on Guidance TV. What's your name? Okay, subhanAllah. For some reason, we're not getting through today. Thummali aqasa al halqi hamzun hao adnahu ghainu khao hao al qafu. The lowest part of the throat, hams ha. Middle, ghain kha. Qaf. Uh, I'm sorry. Ain ha. The highest part, Ghain kha and qaf. Thumali aqsal halqi hamzun ha'u. 
أدن ومن وسطه ومن وسطه فعين حاء أدناه أدناه غين خاؤها والقاف أقصى اللسان أقصى اللسان فوق ثم الكاف the top deepest part of the tongue tongue is your calf أسفل والوسط فجيم الشين يا the bottom part underneath but the middle جيم شين يا جيم شين يا والضاد من حافته إذ ولي للضراس من أيسر أو يمناها We'll get back to that inshallah after we take this next caller Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh You're on Guidance TV What's your name? Liban I'm sorry? Liban Liban How are you Liban? Assalamu alaikum I'm very good MashaAllah ta'ala And how old are you? Ten years old. Barakallahu feek. And what are you going to be reciting to us today? Wadduha. Wadduha. Hayyakallahu bayyak. Tfaddal. Go ahead. Bismillah. Wadduha. A'udhu billahi minash shaitani rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Now, Liban, before you start, before you start, I'd like for you, inshallah ta'ala, to try to articulate the proper exit of the letters, inshallah. So, be, because we're going to do that, for the first ayah, I'm really going to uh, help you on that, inshallah ta'ala, okay? Actually, for the first two ayahs. Well, now, now the dad, I don't know if you remember, the dad comes from the middle of the, of the, si the sides of the tongue. And you press against mm -hmm. your back teeth. Da, da. Well, do, well, do ha. Well, uh, um, uh, remember the lamb, you you pull it up a little bit. So you take your tongue uh, and pull it up. Uh, back there, see how I pulled it back? Lamb. Well, Go ahead. And how old are you, uh, uh, Liban? Ten. Ten years old. Barakallahu Where are you calling from? I'm from Seattle. Seattle, mashallah ta'ala. And what's your favorite channel? Guys TV. Allahu Akbar. Barakallahu Feek. Don't forget to post your video on uh, reciteontv.com, alright? Okay. Alright, Jazakumullah Khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So, Barakallah uh, Feek, uh, inshallah ta'ala, you will also have the chance to recite on TV, so please call 800-651-4814, that's 1-800-651-4814, inshallah ta'ala, so that you too can recite on TV. Barakallah Feek. Now, we're going to move on, inshallah ta'ala, to the review or the conclusion of the program, and we're going to be reviewing everything that we've gone over so far. So, we talked about the Ghain, the Kha, and the Qaf. Ghain, Kha, and Qaf. The furthest part of the tongue, you start with a calf. The middle, but the bottom, the jim, sheen, ya. The dad, wa dadu min hafatihi idhwali yala barasa min ayin sara aw yumnaha. So you take, you press with your tongue and you press against your wisdom teeth, whether the right or the left. Wallam, adinaha li muntaha. Lam, lam, the ending of the tip of your tongue. 
والنون من ح من طرفه تحتجعل والراي دانه لظهر أدخل. So the noon from the tip also just like the lamb, but it's a little bit down. The ra is just above it, but it's you take the back of the tongue. So the lamb, the lamb is with the top of the tongue. Ra is with the back of the tongue. Uh, rr, uh, uh, rr, rr. Lamb, ra, the back of the tongue. And the noon is below. Lamb, ra, noon. Lamb, ra, noon. والطاء والدال وتا منه ومن عني الثنايا والصفير مستكن. So you take the tip of your tongue. And press it against your teeth. And you t press it against the upper teeth. Ta, ta, dal. Same thing with the, the whistle letters, which are saad, zin, saad, seen, and zay. Saad, seen, and zay. You press against the top of your teeth with the tip of your tongue, and you get that, um, you get that sound. Ta, dal, ta, and also saad, seen, and they. So the ta, ta, dal, you take the tip of your tongue, eh? press it against your teeth, the top teeth. Ta, ta, dal. So we're going to take the, our next caller, inshallah ta'ala. Oh, it looks like we uh, missed him. Uh, barakallahu fiqh. So ta, ta, dal, and also saad, seen, zay. Saad, seen, zay. The same tip of the tongue, but you press against the top of your teeth, just not as hard. You make sure your your breath separates between the two. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. You're on Rasail on TV. What's your name? Yes, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. You're on Rasail on TV. What's your name? Hello. Wa alaikum assalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How old are you? Hidayah Abdullah, Hayak and Lobayak, how old are you? How old are you? Hidayah, we can't hear you. How old are you? I'm seven. I'm eight years old. Eight years old, Barakallah Fiqh. And where are you calling from? Huh? Where are you calling from? Nashville, Tennessee, MashaAllah. And what are you going to be reciting to us today? Huh? What are you reading today, inshaAllah? I'll recite um, Hashar. Which surah? Hashar. Al Hashar. Barakallah feek. Bismillah. Go ahead. Bismillah. Hidayah, are you there? Yes. Go ahead. Recite, inshallah. من أهل الكتاب هو الذي أخرج الذين كفروا من أهل الكتاب من ديارهم قال لأول لأول الحشر ما ظنن أن يخرج وظن Oh, God. 
ما شاء الله جزاكم الله خير يا هدايا ما شاء الله جزاكم الله خير يا هدايا هدايا حسبك يا هدايا ما شاء الله حسبك يا هدايا بارك الله فيك بارك الله فيك يا هدايا اه 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 Hamza, how are you, Hamza? I mean, Hamza. Alhamdulillah, mashallah. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Watini with Zaytun. Your name is Watini with Zaytun? No, my name is Hamza. Your name is Hamza, mashallah. And how are you doing today? Good. Mashallah ta'ala. And where are you calling from? Seattle, mashallah. And how old are you? Nine. Nine. Allahu Akbar. Uh, what are you going to recite to us today? Watini wa zaytun. Watini wa zaytun. Okay, bismillah. Let's go, inshallah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Watini wa zaytun. Wa zaytun. Remember the ta? You take your tongue and you press it against the top teeth. Ta, ta. They was they tune. Was they tune? No, press, press against your top teeth. Ta, tune. No, press it. You're not pressing hard enough. You gotta press harder. Was they tune? Was they tune? You're saying tune, and it's not strong enough. It has to be really hard. Two, two. Well, they there you go. Try it again. Accent. What's your favorite TV channel? MashaAllah. Be sure to upload your video to reciteontv.com. I'm looking forward to seeing it, okay? Okay. All right, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair. Barakallah fikum. That concludes our last caller for the day. And so, inshallah ta'ala, we're going to do a last uh, last minute review, inshallah ta'ala, of what we what transpired throughout the program. And we were talking about the makharij al huruf the exits of the huruf the proper articulation of the letters. Uh, and so, I want to reiterate it, inshallah ta'ala, and we'll just go through the poem real quick, inshallah, in English, uh, in Arabic, then in English, and then, inshallah ta'ala, we're going to um, continue. Well, then we're inshallah ta'ala going to conclude our uh, session here for today. Barakallahu feekum. So, we started out. There are 17 different exits. There are 17 different exits for the proper articulation of the letters of the Quran. The, the first is the le med letters, and those come out from the windpipe. The second is the, uh, the hamza and the ha, a, uh, ha. The third is the middle, which is Ain Ha. The, th the fourth, Ghain Kha Qaf, which is the upper part right here. The bottom part of the tongue, but the top is the calf. The, the middle and the under, under the bottom part of the tongue, the middle and underneath of the, the tongue is the Jim, Sheen, and Ya. You should feel it at the bottom here. Je, she, she, ye. Because your tongue, the bottom of your tongue is really what's pressing here. 
the tip of your tongue, pulling it up, you have your lamb. Pushing it down, mm, you have your noon. Pulling it back, rolling your tongue back and putting the back part against the roof of your mouth, you have your ra. ra. The dad is either the right or the left. You take them and you press them against your molders, your wisdom teeth. The next would be the ta, the ta, the dad. Ta, ta, dad. You press against the top teeth. The sa, za, si. You also press against the top teeth, but you blow. So you have this, you get this kind of whistle sound. The va, you get your top, you put it between the top and the bottom teeth. Va, va, that and that. Va, that and that. And then the fa, fa, your top tooth presses ag up against your bottom lip. The wow, the meme, and the bat are all with your lips. W wow, meme, bat, all with purely your lips. And your runna, uh, the sound should change when you close your nose because the nose, because it is actually coming from the holes inside of your nose. وَغُنَّةٌ مَخْرَجُهَا الْخَيْشُومُ InshaAllah Ta'ala that helps all of us understand the proper exits of uh, the letters of Tajweed InshaAllah Ta'ala and I'd like to take a second out to remind everyone to donate whatever they can to Guide Us TV InshaAllah Ta'ala however it is that you can support Barakallahu Feekum and remember, inshallah ta'ala, get guided with Guide Us TV. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.